our YouTube users, welcome to part 2 of the learning to shoot tutorial. In this one, I'm going to focus on how to make the bullet class and how to attach it to your FLA file. So let's get started with the real tutorial. First, I'm going to make a new animation for my character. It's going to be a shooting animation. I'll just duplicate my standing animation and call it shoot. I'll double click on its icon or right click and press edit to make the necessary changes. All you have to do is extend your character's hand to the front and play something that looks like a gun. Now let's go to our play a movie clip and make a new blank keyframe. Bring your shooting animation to that keyframe and align it. I'm having trouble aligning it with the align panel, so I'll go to view rulers. I'll go to my stand frame, which is on frame 1, and click on the left ruler. I'll drag a guide from it and place it on his foot. I'll go back to the shoot frame and align him. And that seems good. So we have our animation set up. Now for the code, go back to scene 1 and go to the actions layer and bring up the actions panel. First we're going to make a new variable at the top for the spacebar. So type var space key is down colon boolean which is equal to false. Go down to the Press a key function and make a new if conditional statement for the spacebar. Type if event.keycode is equal to keyboard.space, then space key is down equals true. Now go to the release a key function and type if event.keycode is equal to keyboard.space. And inside the brackets, type space key is DOM equals false. Now, before we add any more code, we're gonna have to make the bullet class so that we can keep creating instances of that class and all the bullets will have the same properties. So, go to File, New, Action Script 3.0 class. and call it bullet.
and save it in the same place as your FLA file. Go back to the FLA file and draw a small dot. And convert it to a symbol and call it bullet. Now right click on it and press properties. Then click advanced right here. Now in order for us to drag instances of this movie clip out of our library and onto the stage, we need to check export for action script. And make sure the class is bullet. Now go back to the bullet.es file. The first thing we're going to do is import some classes. Let's import the movie clip class and the event class. And I'll also import the sprite class even if we don't need it. Now next to public class bullet type extends movie clip. So right now we're saying that the bullet has all the properties of the movie clip class plus what we're about to add. Now to make our variables. We're gonna need variables for the speed of the bullet and the angle. And depending on the rotation of the player's gun, the angle of the bullet will change. So let's type public var speed and it will be an integer and let's set it to 20 for now. The reason why I have a public var is because we might want to change this in our main code. The public means that this variable can be used anywhere. Time for more variables. Type var angle number var x velocity number and var y velocity number. Now in the public function bullet, we're gonna add an event listener to listen for when a bullet is added to the stage. So type add event listener event dot added to stage comma on added. So every time a bullet is added to the stage, it's gonna run this function. Now let's define the on added function. Below our bullet function type private function on added event colon event with a capital E close bracket colon void then open and close curly brackets. Now if you've done high school math or A-level math, you should know what radians are and how to convert radians to angles. If you don't know what radians are, stop watching this tutorial, go on Google and type in radians. Anyways, when Flash gets an angle first, it gets it in radians and so we need to convert it to degrees. The formula for that is the angle in radians multiplied by pi divided by 180. So inside the brackets, let's type angle equals this dot rotation times open bracket math dot pi slash 180 close bracket. Now we need to calculate the y velocity and x velocity of the bullet. So we're gonna use some trigonometry. 